ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for four rounds in the featherweight division. Presenting in the blue corner, tonight wearing yellow trunks, he weighs in at 124 pounds. From Mandaluyong City Boxing Stable, ladies and gentlemen, Joey Herrero. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing white trunks, and weighing 127 pounds from Bebot Elorded Stable, ladies and gentlemen, Ray Labau. Judges are Narciso Martinez, Captain Ramon Flores, Nestor Olivetti, and the man in charge of the action, Beverly Warren Harrell. Okay, if you've just joined us, you're still with me, Javi Bagat Singh, together with Luisa Balhauregui, bringing you boxing action, brought to you by Hinebra Ringside, here at the Lourdes Sports Center, Sucat Road, Paranaque City, for Boxing Contra Droga, Part 12. This is the debut fight of Juwi Herrero, fighting off Mandaluyong Stable against Ray Labau from the Bebot El Lourdes Stable. Well, good evening, Javi. It's nice to join you here at Parnaque City at the Alorde Sports Center. Uh, beautiful night and uh, exciting boxing coming. Both fighters always feed each other out, Luis, here in the early stages of this four-rounder. But again, this is Juwi Herrero's first fight of his career. He's giving off one and a half inches and three pounds to his fighter. Ray Labau weighing 127, while Juwi Herrero only weighing 124 pounds and standing 5'5 five, five to Ray Labau's 5'6 and a half. It's always exciting to see an orthodox fighter go against a southpaw. Uh, both fighters very eager to show their uh, good conditioning and excellent training. Let's see if it pays off. Those two are key essential factors for any boxer to succeed. Okay. Small exchange there. Not really connecting. Let's see if the uh, experience of Ray Labau, well, at least two-fight experience of Ray Labau over the debut fight of Alpha Herrero, Ray Labau in the white, again Herrero in the yellow. The southpaw now giving Herrero a run for his money. <laughs> and Herrero just covering himself up. Seems to be dazed or seems to be looking for something to hold on to and wondering why the hell did he enter this sport in the first place. The crowd now feeling the action. You can start, you can start to hear them cheering on. I don't exactly know who they're cheering on, Luis, but they just seem to be cheering on a nice fight, you know. I don't understand the moves of uh, Juwi Herrero. He held on and he tried to give a short uh, punch there that seems like one your parents give you <laughs> when you make or do something bad as a kid. As we end the first round action, here coming to you from Paranaque City. Your thoughts on that first round? Please? That was an exciting first round. A uh, couple of uh, flurries of uh, punches, not really connecting, but definitely high energy. Both fighters eager to show their uh, Enthusiasm for the fight. <laughs> well, it's nice to see enthusiasm, but we'd rather see skills in a fighter. And let's see if uh, this young uh, debut of a Jewy Herrera will show us exactly that. 
Vela Bao, uh, two fights to his card, winning both and hasn't lost yet. Winning both actually by KO and knockout. First time he fought or entered the ring as a professional was July 21, 2004. While today, December 10, 2004, is the first time Jui Herrero from the Mandaluyong Stable. Second round action here coming to you from El Lourdes Sports Center here at Paranaque City. This is being brought to you by Getaway KTV Bar and Grill at 8, 8165. Director A, Samos Avenue, Sukat, Paranaque. And of course, Marty's Restaurant beside Lord Jim. Now, uh, Herrero seems to uh, have heard my comments. He's coming on strong. Not really defending himself, just looking for uh, something to hit and take out his frustrations. Labau wisely using the two, uh, two ring experiences he's had so far. Stepping back and covering up. It's, it looks though that this Joey Herrero's got some power in his punches. Although he keeps his arms too low, Luis. Uh, yes, he does. Um... That's an uppercut coming from, from, I don't know where it came from. It came from his chest, I guess. It says here in his, uh, in his stats, he's an orthodox fighter, but I haven't, <laughs> I have yet to see any orthodox moves coming from Joey Herrero. Labau trying to come back with a bit of uh, punching himself. Terrero seems to be winning the crowd with what he's doing. Labau, the fighter from Lilo Lilo Liloan Leite. Look at how uh, low Joey Herrero lives up, uh, puts his arms up. Leaves his arms down, I mean. Yes, and it actually, he's paying for it now. <laughs> you, you said it, then it came in. He doesn't seem to be able to look past his gloves, which is something every boxer should master. Because before your eyes should come the gloves. Again. With another jab straight. And about connecting with that straight. There's no twist coming from the hips of Herrero as he throws those right crosses. And our referee. There's a bit of frustration there in the last seconds of that exchange. Referee Juan and Haro are asking uh, both fighters to keep it up. Joey Herrero uh, <laughs> almost turning his back on the fighter when the Cardinal Rules should never do in the ring. Again, not keeping his arms up is being hit by those straights. He's like trying to chop a tree, but without knowing how to use an axe. He seems to have the power, but not the form of those killer blows. As Labau in white, just methodically hitting Joey Herrero. Another beautiful left cross there, clipping the chin of Herrero. Labau though seems to be losing gas as we hit the closing round, second round. We'll be back with more action here at ringside. TV boxing. Third round action here. You're still with us. Javi Bagat Singh and Luis Zabal Hauregi coming to you from Paranaque City, the Elorda Sports Center. Joey Herrero starting to put some defense now into his arsenal, which he should have had in the first place. But still, Luis, I find his arms too low. He's exposing his chin and his eyes. Yes, and he's paid for it in the last two rounds. Uh, <laughs> Labau has been able to capitalize on that uh, low hanging hands, leaving his face open for some punches. And the stance of a Herrero, he lacks the sideward stance. That's why his body seems to be open, yet uh, a beautiful exchange there. And Herrero, uh, he's just throwing hot punches there. Uh, Herrero, Herrero just throwing punches. I don't know where that was coming from, Javi. I don't know if he's a left-hand fighter or a right-hand fighter because switch every time he throws a punch. But he's definitely a fighter. He's definitely a fighter. I'll give you that, Luis. 
And I think Lebao will give him that as well as Lebao's face is a little red already. Herrero choosing not to bounce around, just standing straight in the middle of the ring. Again, one of the cardinal rules of a boxer, you should always be mobile and agile. A moving target is harder to hit. Yes, but these two boxers seem to be choosing a more toe-to-toe -to -toe stance. Squared circle kind of fight, huh? like in ancient Greece. Herrero, 24 years old. Labao, five years younger, 19. Ref putting them aside. Warning there from referee Warren Haro because uh, Labao seemed to be chopping with a uh, under his fist. Both fighters exchanging punches. You can see the sweat fly, flying around from here. Herrero standing right in front of Labao. Very dangerous. Labao has won both of his both of his fights by knockout, and that's not that's something you don't want to do. Herrero looking for advice from the crowd. Almost falling off the ring there. I think he slipped there. Huh? Seems to be smiling. Another beautiful strike there. He's in danger. He's sitting on the ring right now. The foul seems, seems to be going in for the kill. I, I have yet to see any orthodox uh, fighting skills coming from Joey Herrero, who claims he's an orthodox fighter coming from the Mandaluyong stable. And that's the end of the third round. We'll be back with the last of his four rounds between Joey Herrero and Ray Labau. Luis, if they were going to end the fight now, score it by judge's decision. Who would you give the fight to? I would give it to Labau. He seems to be the more experienced fighter and he seems to be landing more solid punches. Uh, Herrero seems to have lost his training and orthodox style. As you see, that's Probably got excited activated. by the new crowd. You see? There he is, sitting on the ropes there, almost going down. Labau digging in deep, a couple uppercuts there, not really connecting, but still to the judges' eyes, the more active fighter is the winner. Herrera's got no clue where he is. I think he's finally getting a little tired as well, uh, throwing all those wild punches. Uh, took a lot of energy out of him, Javi. One of the things I like about boxing with Luis is there's always uh, that upset and, of course, the underdog. And you think Joey Herrero, although he's pleasing the crowd, is the underdog keeping his arms wide open and showing his chin and his face. Wild straight there by Labau. <laughs> now both fighters seem to be exchanging cell phone numbers. I don't exactly know what's going on anymore inside. I think they there. like each other. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Herrero, 24 years old. Still enough time to think of changing careers. And 19 years old, Ray Labau winning two of his first fights, both by knockout. Third fight now, he's starting to unload. He senses that his fighter does not know what he's doing. And hit his straight. There's a straight. And Warren Haro wisely gives Herrero a standing eight count. Labau saw his opening and took it. I don't think Herrero can continue with this. Herrero doesn't know what to do. The referee Warren Haro is taking him and the fight is over. Wise move there by Warren Haro, the referee, stopping Joey Herrero from continuing because I think he sensed that uh, this fighter, Joey Herrero, has not got the skill to go against someone like Ray Labau, and if he continues, would end up hurting himself. Definitely promising things for uh, Ray Labau. On his third fight, his young 19-year-old surrendering all his fighters by knockout as we go to our ring announcer, Boy Villanera, for the official. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your official time 
One minute and 17 seconds in round number four. For your winner, by technical knockout, Ray Lava. Ray Lavao, our winner of the second fight here from Boxing Contra Droga Part 12, coming to you from the Lord Sports Center, Super Bowl Paranaque City, in Nebra, Ringside TV.